I'm saying? You know, in light of Chris Brown's three hour album, which will more than will inevitably become a classic. Uh sure. Omega, you asked the question. What should be considered a classic album? Oh. What albums in the past decade would you call a classic? All right, so here's what brought this about is because there's a large consensus, mainly between people that are 25 and younger, I've, I've noticed around there, that would call Drake's albums like uh, Take Care, some say nothing was the same, that would call them classic albums. And now, to me, I, I used to subscribe to that theory as well, that game theory. And then I realized, I'm like, what really defines like a classic album? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like these are albums that are just like, these are the ones that people are going to be going back to fucking 50 years from now. What'd you say? Low end theory, you know, sure. Uh, high box or whatever that outcast album is called. Right. So for, for me, I started thinking like, damn, so like what albums have come out that are classics. And I can only think in the past 10 years of like, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, good kid, mad city. Maybe to to Pimp a butterfly will probably be one of those, right? It's just like I'm thinking. I'm just like when I talk about these kinds of albums, and then I look at Take Care or Nothing Was the Same. I'm just like, yeah, this doesn't compare to this caliber of album. You know what I mean? So to me, now I started thinking. I'm just like, so what should we define as a classic album are there albums that have come out in the past decade or so that you guys would consider classics because to me all i can think of is good kid mad city to pimper butterfly my beautiful dark twisted fantasy and eight awaits and heartbreak those would probably be the only ones that i can think of right now that are classics i think it's important to note carly ray jepson's uh first studio album okay all right you know, like there is no song I, like "Call Me Maybe." You're right, man. See, viewer, you're an idiot because college dropout and graduation did not come out ten years ago. More than ten years at this point. Has when did graduation come out? Two thousand. Graduation came out in two thousand seven or two thousand eight. To be honest, even though it's not my favorite album, that's probably a classic. Graduation. Because I've, yeah, because that shifted. Because the big thing about Graduation was it was going up against, like, a 50 Cent album. So it was like you had two complete opposite kinds of rap. It was like the hardcore gangster rap versus the rap that Kanye was making. And then, of course, that did a heel shift in the hip-hop landscape and Mm -hmm. shifted gangster rap to more of, like, the pop rap kind of bullshit. Graduation came out in 2007, so it would technically be included in this conversation. Uh, I think, for me... Good Kid, Mad City, for sure. I'm not 100% sold on To Pimp a Butterfly, which might come as a surprise because I fucking love that album. That is a surprise because even I'd I know say it's, that's a classic album. And, and I know it's really early, the, but I'm like, not, I'm not sold yet. I don't know how that's possible. I think that's one but... of the most important albums. Yeah, oh, like, like, that, that I mean, album is that, like really, really important. It's like, it's so poignant and pertinent to that. That, that album time. will define our generation right now. Like, we'll go back and our kids are back. What was life or like, what was like the social climate in yeah, your you day? Can, I'll be like, exactly. I'll play that album. You can literally, like, Good Kid Mad City is a good thing to like sort of describe what it's like being like a kid in that area, in like that yeah. sort of situation. Right. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To Pimp a Butterfly, as much as like I don't like listening to it, is the perfect album to explain the black man's plight in sure. 2015 or 2016, whenever that came out. Like, and just like for a couple of years before that and since. <clears throat> like the way that what I'd probably assume most black people feel over the last probably like five years. Yeah. But well, yeah. what else would you consider? I, I think um, my beautiful talk to yeah, Dark Twisted Fantasy is like probably one of the best hip hop albums of all time and like just undeniably a classic. Um, yeah. huh? Honestly, like it, it's too early to say it at this point, but I think in time I will consider Blonde a classic as well because that album I was to me say is, that. is fucking perfect. It like 
it's that the, album it's the similarly best breakup is, album I've I've exactly. ever heard in my life. It's literally a perfect album, similarly to to fucking both of those albums we were just talking about, Good Kid, Mad City, and To Pimp a Butterfly, to describe and to show what it was like being like to, heartbroken, to like to be heartbroken in our day and age, and how yeah. that felt. You know what I mean? Like, cause there's even like the, the interlude Facebook story has like a lot of, of weight to it. Yeah, cause it's, it's that guy it's, talking about like, you know, why do we need Facebook? You know, I'm right here in front of you right now. You know what I mean? It's like, kind of shows somebody who social. doesn't, it kind of shows what somebody who like, isn't really there yet. Like somebody mm-hmm. who's maybe a little bit older than a millennial generation. Yeah. Like somebody just outside the millennial generation who doesn't really get that shit yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like in it. There's also that line where, like, he says something. I don't remember exactly what song is or, like, what exactly he says, but he says, like, forgot to say. Like, it's something, like, right after they broke up, clearly. Like, forgot to say, oh, so I texted it or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's like, that's. I forgot the speech, so I text the speech or some bullshit like that. Yeah, forgot the speech, so I. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And it's like, that's real as fuck for, like, this that moment. That is. Like, there's probably, yeah. there's so many. So many of our conversations that need to, in my opinion, need to be had in person are had over text message. And it's like, it's, it's sort of, I don't know, it's, it is, I don't know, it's poignant. And and I kind of, I kind of feel like, like to that point, like, I feel like if you're having that conversation over text message, you to some degree know that that conversation needs to be had in person, you know, like as you're having it. And no, that's another thing that. too. A lot of people would rather text that because they're scared yeah. of that face to face confrontation. Yeah, like exactly. Like it's just like you're literally like that's just your comfort zone, you know? And like because yeah. I've I've done that plenty of times. Like I've sent a text message that I'm like, I like at the very least I should be calling them and saying this. You know what I mean? Like this isn't something that you just put and like even go, like to the point of I've had like full on arguments and shit that like could that's like it could have been solved by like talking in person and explaining myself rather than, you know like lashing out with fucking all caps on my text. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm pretty good with not like with knowing when a conversation needs to be had in person, you know? Right. Like whether it be like, it, it's just like, there's certain conversations, like even if it's not like a breakup thing, like there's certain conversations that, that need to be had in person. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like you need to really get like, it, they, it's important that everyone not have time to think, to respond in certain situations like it needs to be a real human conversation Mm -hmm. another one that i might put on classic territory that probably deserves to be is trilogy by the weekend his for it's like his first three uh like mixtapes combined into one album that Mm -hmm. right there to me is like really good music i can't co-sign on that one personally but i hear where you're coming from um, I don't know what else. Is that's about man all. Man on I've the got. moon. Ooh, man on the moon's a classic. I would say. I would say man on the moon because like the thing is like when when Kid Cudi was making. Yeah, I said eight oh eight as well. Oh, did you? I didn't hear you. Yeah, because yeah, like I feel like man on the oh, yeah man on the moon's a classic. Like, that's all there is to say. Like those it. two albums, really. Yeah. Like that. Like man on the moon really helped. Like. It's almost like the, like for the kids who weren't opened up to like Three Days Grace and like that sort of music at that time, it's like the, it's almost like the black kids version of like a Three Days Grace where like they got to yeah. sort of be like, okay, like I'm not the only person who feels like this right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know that. I think, yeah, that's definitely. And I think it really, do, this next album that I'll say really depends on where the landscape of music goes because it's very possible that trap is going to be a complete fad and it's going to die out however i feel like if trap is here to stay and the music continues like this i i don't know if i'd call it a classic but to me there's never been a better trap album than rodeo by travis scott i think that one will be like the standard that i always look to if there's a um if there's the trap album that comes out i will always compare that to rodeo because rodeo is just the best trap album again i struggle to call it a classic but i think that one will be one that i keep in my mind when i'm talking about any other trap album 
I, you're probably right if it does if if rap does keep going that way. But <clears throat> even if it sort of just kind of stays in the middle, like then I would disagree. Yeah, probably. How about okay? I have one. I like I wasn't sure that this one was in with was within the range. Uh, the Carter Three. Did that come out ten years Two, ago? Two thousand eight. Ooh, I think the Carter I think that III? might be included. Yeah. Yeah. Never. Because like. Lil really? Wayne. I've You've never actually never heard it. the Carter Three. I've never listened to a Lil Wayne album. Oh, that's crazy! That's actually why Carter Three slaps. Carter no, Three is really. a fucking great album. Now, I feel like this might be a. I don't know. Oh, a divisive God, topic, here. but like, <laughs> checklist by Zavi Whistle. Oh, oh my I knew God. you were gonna. I knew you were gonna say. Oh, somebody says because the internet. I, I was gonna that's say a... that. I was gonna say that, but no, I don't think so. No, mm, I don't know. Definitely one of the like it's creative as fuck that album, but I don't know that it's a classic. Yeah, no. Have any of you listened? To the absolutely unmitigated banger that is the Twenty One and Savage and Offset mixtape, or whatever yeah, the fuck they call it. You can hold that shit all the way over. Oh, there. you guys are fucking gay. I'm sorry. You guys literally like dick around your I lips. Just, this I shit. Know. Oh, it slaps. I'm sorry. Although I can't blame you guys because you you would get into a car accident if you listen to this song what about in your car. Watch the throne. I feel like as far as like collab rap albums go, it's by far the best. And I don't know if it'll if it'll ever be topped. So I I put it in that like rodeo kind of thing where it's like in its class, like for what it is, nothing is better than it or has been better than it since. So that would be like the standard. Like if you're making a collab album, it will forever be compared to Watch the Throne because it is simply just the best. So I don't, I don't know if I'd call it a classic, but I think it, it, it could stand a chance. And then now, I don't know why we, we walked past these, but for your eyes only and nah. 2014 Four uh, Souls Drive, of course. Now, it's now it's the, just a no. Now the, the real album that we skipped over, um, Knock Madness by Hobson. A cult classic album. Yeah, cult classic. That's played in the KKK. That gives the motivation to kill blacks. <laughs> They're like, this is what the African American community is doing, and they're like, "Well, fuck yeah, kill them all." Now, uh, the Barter Six, Young Thug, yeah, a classic, as it were. Now, I'm not gonna call it a classic, but I just wanted to go out on record and say that I really, really, really love Slime Season Three. To me, that's what made me a huge Young Thug fan because Young Thug is to me that nigga's a genius. Now, I might be going out here on a limb, okay? I'm going to okay. be honest. This is interesting. I might be on a limb. Okay. If you're reading this. No, I, I think, can't. I think it would be. Mm, I, think, I don't think, I think in 10, I made his a, classic territory. I think in 10 or 15 years when everyone's like, dog. What was like? Was there even any good rap in 2015? Like, or even like in that decade? You were gonna be like, you ever heard if you're reading this? No, I think that's a very like. It's not a bad song. I think it. I don't know. I think it's a very. That's not true. It's an album of its time kind of thing. Like, song. I don't think it's. I don't think that album's gonna age well. That song with Party Next Door on that album fucking sucks. No, preach. Both. Of, both. Young of the songs nigga, preach. Pretty, preach sucks. Preach. And then that song preach. after preach. Fucking Wednesday sucks. night interlude. Wednesday night interlude. Trash. Wednesday That's night not interlude. Even a song, though. Like that, you can't even. It's an interlude. It doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't like you like you used dog, to, but, man. But, but look at all the albums we just said. You want to put if you're reading this on that on that pedigree. Now, this next one I'm about to say, I I would be hard pressed to say neither of you probably even listened to this album. He just said you uncultured lines. Like I hate shit. how he. But no one ever says but, that shit but him. I no, you niggas probably haven't listened to this album. I don't know why you. What would. is it? What is it? Ti versus Tip. Who hasn't listened to that album? Matt. Exactly. 
Ti versus Tip. He said Tip the Tap Man. Like the 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 thing is, is that like it's it's hard for me because while I wouldn't like I don't bump that album very much. That album is important to trap music because Ti was like he's the originator yeah. of trap. So it's like, yeah. how do you not include that? You know what I mean? But I, I don't know. I don't know it. Cause like. I don't know, man. Like, cause we had, we had kind of like in 2007, like we didn't get a lot of like great music from the South, you know, like we didn't mm -hmm. get a lot of Southern rappers and TI came out of nowhere with TI versus tip. And you, like, you were listening to that shit and you were like, this nigga's got his hat hanging off his ear. Like this shit fucking slaps. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that shit is literally slapped so hard. His, his hat, yeah, his is hat, here. just like it's just right here. <laughs> it's dog. here it's instead crazy. of on his fucking head. So I don't know, man. I I would consider that a classic, personally. Look at this uncultured. Personally, which the Logic album would you put as a classic, Matt? If you had to put one up there, um, his best album is the second one. Tits at to Mouth. The Incredible Two Story and Transformation of the Man Who Changed the World. Is his that's name. that's fucking nerd shit. How is that nerd shit? You said Tatsumo or whatever. That sounds like a fucking Street Fighter move. Tatsumo, Tatsumo, Tatsumo. The incredible true story and transformation of the man who changed the world. I'm sorry, that, even world. that title is fucking cornball mode. What are you talking about? That title First of all, is just called the incredible true mode. story, but Which then there's is also the cornball. That's not that's not cornball. Like that's a good title. I would say that his first album is better than his second. Now that I've had more time to uh to sit on it and think about it, I don't know about that one. Don't know about that one at all. I mean, I haven't listened to a Logic song in since like, we were in Virginia. That was the last time I listened to it. Actually, I lied. I listened to everybody. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry as well. Like the incredible true story is just.